everyone. It's Angie the Craft NATO. I hope you guys are all doing great today. I am doing just fine. Finally, uh, my son is back to school after two snow days. So we're dug out after the winter ice storm that we just had. Today I'm excited to show you some diamond paintings and one other uh, craft item from the company DP Clubs. And this is a little bit special of an unbagging because I mentioned to you at the beginning of well, I guess it was towards the middle of January that I've got some ideas for doing some different things. And this is going to be the first one of those ideas put to uh, life. So what I'm going to be doing is when I do unbaggings from budget companies, I am going to be asking for suggestions from you guys as to what you would like to see from these companies. So um, today's order from DP Clubs, these items were picked out by a subscriber, Jody. So Jody, this is the DP Clubs Jody edition. These are the uh, things that she picked out that she wanted to see unbagged from this company. So let's get right into it and see what Jody picked out. I'm pretty excited to see what she excited to see what she picked. And I'm just going to go through and like randomly choose people that I have contact information for for a while. Maybe coming up in the future, I'll have to reach out and get some more contact information from people. We'll see how this goes. This is the first diamond painting. It is a 30 by 40 round drill. Um, and it is these beautiful birds. And I love this framed background. That is really, really cool because it has the flowers that kind of penetrate the edges of the frame. And I love it. Just these two birds in a tree with the flowers in the background. It has 20 colors. So not too many colors. The canvas is really sticky. Um, can you see that or is it glaring? No, it's not glaring because I don't have the sun at my back or at my window today because it's still early in the morning. Don't have to worry about that until I start filming in the late afternoon. Now this is a little bit something I haven't seen for quite a while. Not that it makes any difference at all, but these drills are packaged in those little baggies. Remember these, you guys? Remember when all of your drills used to come like this? These little strips with the, I think like there's like 100 or 200 drills per little pack there. Yeah, so that's how these drills are packed. So we've got red and beige, well, more of a caramel color, tan, greenish gray, gray, rose, Christmas red, a dark plum, quite a bit of black. Cream. This is going to be probably your primary background color for the frame. Some um, very light pinkish, pinkish color. Mauve. Kind of a, I don't know what you would call that color. Oh, it's kind of orangey rose. And then some grays few different grays, a dark brown, and a couple of greens. And those are the 20 colors. So these ones with these small baggies are a little bit, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. They're not my favorite to have to kit up because you gotta open all those little baggies. But I'm a big fan of the kitting up process. So it doesn't really bother me all that much. But that is the first one. It's really pretty. It's a, it'd be really a cute one to do into frame. You wouldn't even necessarily have to formally frame it. You could just put it on some um, some foam board, and the frame from the, di the of the diamond painting itself would make it look framed. That would be actually kind of a cool look for it. Okay, let's get to the next one. The next one is another full drill. Did I say that one was a 30 by 40? I think I did. The next one is another full drill and it is also a round drill. This 
this one has a, a very nice canvas. I really like the the feel of that canvas. It's going to lay flat. Look, it lays flat almost immediately. Um, nice and sticky canvas. It's very sparkly, too. It's a very sparkly canvas. This one is a 30 by 30. It has 23 colors. And I love this one. I am so glad that Jody chose this one because it's super, super cute. Um, I think that because it's a round drill, the colors, it looks a little muted here in the in my viewfinder of my camera. I'm not sure how it looks to you guys. But this kitty is a very, very fat kitty with a ball of yarn and he's just laying in all these balls of yarn. And I think that that is absolutely adorable. Super, super cute. Now some of these, because this is so busy of a background, some of those symbols, you might want to use a light pad with this one. Um, but they are dark symbols on light backgrounds and light symbols on dark backgrounds. So that makes it a little bit easier. But let's take a look at the drills because I think we're going to have lots of fun colors with this one. Lots of fun colors. And I think that it's going to be a lot more vivid than what it's looking right now. I think it looks a little bit more muted than what it's going to turn out. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, these are pretty colors. Look at those. Oh, so pretty. Such a pretty... Um, like a sea blue, very deep sea blue, blue green, a uh, plum color and a dark moth. Then we have this beautiful kind of a, um, what would I call that? A cranberry, black, army green, gray, gold, light mauve, purple, uh, fuchsia, red, cornflower blue, country blue, just plain blue, <laughs> uh, lighter blue, some burnt orange, dark green, chocolate brown, coral, um, what should we call this color? Bright pink, not bright pink, but like a purpley pink, bubblegum pink, and what we're going to call that copper that's kind of a coppery color and there's the most of that color this is going to be super cute this is one that is going to be one that um yeah I'm going to love this and I think that I know who else will love it and that is my girl Maddie my girl Maddie loves all things kitties and I think that she'll get a big kick out of this one she might even want to hang it up in her craft room I bet you she will it's very very cute and all of these diamond paintings do come with toolkits with a bow, a plate, and a bow, a plate of wax, and a pen. So I should just mention that just in case you're new. All right. Our last diamond painting, and then we've got one other thing to show you, is a special drill partial. And this is super cute. It's funny because... Jody picked this one, and this one was on my list anyways of one that I wanted to get. I am absolutely in love with the look of these. I, there's quite a few to choose from that are the same style with just different flowers and different vases. So um, I, I really liked this one. It's so pretty. It's a 30 by 30 special drill partial. I really like how the flowers go out of the field of view there or out of the like there's the frame but the flowers extend past it if you see what it extend past the background I think that looks really cool so there are eight different drill types with this one and let's take a look at those if I can get it open I'm having a problem with that lately my fingers just don't seem to want to work. 
I can see we've got some special shapes in there, so we're not talking all rhinestones, which is always fun when you're dealing with a special drill project. So we have brown crystals, which will be for the bowl that the or the vase that the flowers are sitting in. Quite a few green for all the foliage in there. Yellow for all those beautiful, what are, what are these called? Are these called buttercups? All these yellow flowers? I'm not sure. You know who will tell me? Mindy will tell me. Mindy will know what those yellow flowers are. Uh, then we have some beautiful blue green. That's a really star striking blue. Then we have tons of these teeny little um, clear crystal teardrop shapes, but they're very, very small. Uh, quite a few larger size yellow and quite a few uh, pink marquee. And the most of everything are these gold uh, teardrops. There's just tons and tons and tons of those. Where do those go? Number eight. Okay, so, okay, yep, all of these yellow flowers are number eight, and get that, get that yellow teardrop. Beautiful. That's so pretty. It makes me think of spring. Doesn't that make you guys just think of spring? And that's an awesome thing to be thinking about at this time of the year, is to start thinking of some springtime projects. So hopefully these these ones will put you in the mood and start thinking spring. Like I said, if you go, if you look at, I will put the link to all of these items in the description field of the video. But if you go to this, you'll find several, I think there might be like six or eight different varieties of this diamond painting with all different vases and different flower arrangements. And it's really pretty. They're, they're all really pretty. I wish I could have gotten them all. Okay, for the final item that Jody picked out is, I was surprised when she picked this item, but you know what? It's going to be very, very useful. And I'll show you what it is. It is a cross-stitch item. And it's, it's going to be a very useful thing as well as a fun project in and of itself. Oh, and it comes with everything you need. Cool. So this is what it is. Now, this is the pattern this is what you're actually going to cross stitch onto the fabric and you're probably wondering why would you want to cross stitch blocks with a bunch of numbers well here's why because what it's going to do is this is this this is one piece okay but it folds right here and this is the part that you cross stitch and once you're done with it, you stuff it with this, sew the sides up so it becomes a pillow, and then you use this as a, you're probably going to need more stuffing than that in all, in all reality, but that's okay. I have some, well, maybe not. No, probably not. You use this as a thread holder for your cross stitch projects. So that when you're working on a cross stitch project, like for example, I just happen to have one right here actually. Okay, so you're working on a, well actually I can show you based on the one we've got. So you're working on a project and you've, you've got eight colors. You would thread up eight needles with one of each of these colors and then you can just stick your needles in numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that way, when you need to change colors on your project, you just grab that needle with the thread already attached and go to town on your project. So if you, this goes up to 99, so you could do like a Hade, basically. <laughs> Hade is a heaven and earth designs project that comes with like hundreds of colors. But um, yeah, you, so you could potentially have that 99 different colors that you were working with and you could have your needles in there with your with your floss. So it's a floss organizer for a cross stitch project, which is really really a super cool idea because I use the this other method and it's not very it doesn't work very well. But this is going to be really really cool. So that was a cool thing that she picked out. 
Um, again, all of these items I will link in the description. Oh, and here's all the colors. So we've just got, you know, pretty, pretty much rainbow colors. Love the colors that come with it. Um, so if you are interested in any of these items, you can find them in the description tab of this video. Um, and I'll put a link to the store because they've got tons and tons of other stuff. So thank you guys. Oh, and uh, Angie 15 um, for 15% 15 off at DP Clubs. Now, I don't get anything. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I, I'm not making any money off of it. So, you know, but just to save you a little bit, um, if you do order from there, you can use that code. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again soon with my next video. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.